guys, it's Brittany here. I hope you're doing amazing today. So today I just wanted to do a kind of chatty video. I just wanted to do um, a little life update and let you guys know um, what's going on with us and um, mainly how our trying to conceive process is going um, and what we've been up to lately. So here goes. So we are currently in our third month of trying to conceive. Definitely um, thought it would be a lot faster than this and just because I think everybody hears this because people want to scare you into using protection whenever you're young. Um, they always say, oh the second you don't use protection you'll get pregnant. So that gets really ingrained in everyone's mind and then they're so surprised at how hard it actually is to make a child. Sometimes people just get really lucky and it happens by accident, but um, if you're actually trying, sometimes it can be very difficult, even if you're perfectly healthy, it can take up to a year. So I've been having a rough time coming to grips with that because my whole family, my whole life has been, um, my whole family is always reiterating, oh, the second I even thought about having kids, I was pregnant. And my mom, especially, <laughs> I think she was just saying that. She's like, our family's so fertile, you're gonna get pregnant the second you look at a boy and stuff. So I am I know it's probably um, her just trying to protect us because she was really, really afraid of like teen pregnancy, even though we're all pretty like good and safe kind of kids. <laughs> that sort of thing so <clears throat> I think she was overly worried about that so she really tried to tell us don't don't even think about um, having sex or especially unprotected sex so <laughs> yeah um, <clears throat> So yeah, we are in our third month of trying. Um, we're almost at the two week wait. Um, I'm not 100% if I've ovulated yet. I don't think I have. I've been watching um, basically since my period, um, which was cycle day 16 um, last month. And it is now cycle day 18 of the next cycle. So <laughs> um, I tie, I've I found out that my cycles are actually pretty, like I ovulate very late in my cycle. So I'm hoping that doesn't, I've heard like rumors of that means your egg quality isn't um, as good, but I'm hoping that it is. <laughs> um, I feel like my mom said, it is true. People in my family are very fertile and um, we are very healthy in that way. So <laughs> I'm sure they are fine. Um, but yeah, I think I do ovulate kind of later. Um, it's not that much later, like the usual or the perfect cycle is um, cycle day 14. My cycle is almost always 28 days, sometimes 29, but almost always 28. So that's a perfect cycle, I guess, just like the average number of days. And so I usually ovulate on around the 17th and today is the 18th. And I didn't get any positives yet on my OPKs, so. I bet you it's gonna happen like today or tomorrow or the next day, <laughs> so very soon. Um, but anyways, so this month, to make it kind of mostly easier on my husband, <laughs> um, we would we decided that we were just going to um, baby dance every second day um, of the month. Um, <laughs> And we missed one day, which I was very sad about, um, but we are going to make up for it and baby dance um, two days in a row. Um, so we're still on schedule for doing every other day and then around the time when I ovulate, when I get my positive OPK, um, I want to hopefully baby dance that day and then the next two days and cover all of our bases because last time we got, I think last time we were just so exhausted because we got my psych, our, um, my fertile window was actually completely wrong. It was like a week and a half off. Um, so we were like trying to baby dance every single day and it was really stressful doing that way because we like, we're very happy. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this is too much information, but we're very um, happy with like our love life and everything um, But honestly like if we weren't trying to conceive we would probably do it like once a month <laughs> Really like or less and we're fine with that right now because we just don't we used like we used to have a lot higher sex drives But now like it's not like a problem or anything. That's just what we're comfortable doing. That's what makes us happy. So this is a lot for us and we're not used to doing it this much and we're getting kind of like exhausted. 
it's not a bad thing at all. Um, and we're trying to have fun with it and stuff. It's just, it's hard not to feel the pressure of doing it that often. Um, just because we are just so not used to doing it that much. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, so we're going to be doing that. Um, and then we'll probably, we might do every second day for a few days after I've ovulated. But at that point, um, if your egg has already like gone through your fallopian tubes and everything and um, hopefully been impregnated, um, then there's not really any point um, unless you want to baby dance. So, so yeah, that is our plan for this month. So I am currently tracking cervical mucus. That's such a gross word. I'm sorry, but that's what it. That's what it's called. Um, so CM. Um, my I'm not really tracking cervix position this month because I just I don't know. I feel like I don't need to be sticking my fingers up there and introducing any bacteria potentially. So I just, I've been doing that for the other two months that we have been trying to conceive, but I decided not to do that because for me, um, CM and the OPKs are enough of an indicator of when I'm ovulating that I don't need to really test the other one. I'd rather not introduce any bacteria just in case um, we do get pregnant and hopefully we do. So I'm not doing that this month. Um, I wanted to get a basal body temperature um, thermometer. They're quite expensive where I live. They're almost $30. And I just, <laughs> I didn't want to like split, kind of spend that much on it right now. Um, if we're still TTCing, which I'm hoping that we won't be after this month, but if we're still TTCing, I might get that. And then I might get pre-seed too, which is also $30 where I'm from. Um, so yeah, but for now I am just doing two OPKs a day, one in the morning, not first morning urine, but second morning urine, um, and then I'm doing one in the afternoon around three or four, usually around three. Yeah, um, the solar is steadily getting a tiny bit darker, but it's a very, very slow increase and I haven't had my positive OPK yet, so <laughs> we're still looking out for that. That is pretty much our plan for this month. Um, what has been making me motivated and happy it has been um, kind of, even though we're not officially pregnant yet, um, I've been looking for like things for the baby that are on sale because we think it might seem silly to some people, but I think it's a really smart idea and a lot of people say that this is a really great idea to do. Um, we are basically just like always being on the lookout for deals and for when things go on sale for um, baby stuff, especially the expensive baby stuff. And if it's a great sale, even if it's now, so that's like 10 months um, at the least away from when we have our baby, um, we would, <laughs> we were already getting stuff for it, but we're getting it at a really good price. So we're saving money in the long run. And also it spreads out the spending of the money a lot more so it's not like um, a month before you have your baby and you're like oh no I have to buy like a thousand dollars worth of things right now um, so we just thought it'd be great to gradually get things while they're on sale and stock up and we pretty much it's pretty insane but we actually probably have enough clothes for a girl or a boy right now and just are like already set because I got a lot of things um, like I, like I said before, I was on this trading site, so I would trade certain goods for like baby clothes, um, and so I would trade people for things, and then I would also get it at um, my favorite thrift store, which is called Bibles for Missions. Yeah, so I would get absolutely amazing deals. Like they would sell onesies for like 25 cents sometimes which is crazy you can't get anything that cheap in Canada Canada is actually very expensive especially where I live um, so that is super exciting uh, so I've been stocking up on 
sale clothes and of course tons of clothes are on sale now because it is just entering spring and it's just been the winter season so everything's on like super clearance like 90% off um, at different stores so so yeah after this video I'm gonna be doing just a little haul um, of some baby clothes and some cute little things that I got um, for super awesome deals so that's pretty exciting so that is pretty much where we're at for trying to conceive. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. And please let me know in the comments if you guys are trying to conceive. Any tips whatsoever. Any questions for me. Um, and I will do my best to help you guys out. Um, and give you some information. Because I have learned a lot of stuff in the last three months. When we've been trying to make a little baby. So... Yeah, wish us good luck. I'm really hoping that this is our month. I have a really good feeling about it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!